Hi, this is Seth Denniston, Director of Technology for the Coeur d'Alene School District, and this technology tutorial is on Google Chrome apps and extensions. If you've used Google Chrome at all, you probably have run into either apps or extensions. This tutorial is to explain some of the differences between the two, as well as to tell you uh, how they might be helpful for your web browsing. First, a little bit about apps. Um, apps are basically glorified shortcuts. So they're links to a web page that might allow you to do something uh, different. Typically, they will open a new tab, and this will be a standalone application, not dependent on whatever page you're currently on. If you go to the top left-hand corner of your browser, you will see a um, little grid and a link that says apps. More on that in just a second. Next, uh, extensions. Extensions somehow extend the page that you're on. So it interacts with that content uh, on the page, allowing you to extend the browser uh, in some way. Uh, because of that, it is dependent on the page uh, that you're on. And typically, you will find these up in the top right-hand corner. You will see some, some links uh, to some of these extensions. When you click on them, it will allow you to interact with the content on the page in some way. Um, in the school district, we are no longer pushing especially extensions uh, to all accounts in part because of the way that they make Chrome behave. So anytime you have an extension, it actually creates another instance of Chrome running. Uh, what we were finding is for many of our accounts uh, that created uh, some, some slowdowns when using Chrome. So you have to select the extensions you want, and I'll show you where to do that in just a second. Um, if you go to the Chrome Web Store now, you will see a for cdaschools.org section. You can find all the uh, apps and extensions that have been approved uh, at the district level. This is a user-based setting, so sometimes we'll get requests to add um, an app or an extension to an entire cart of Chromebooks. We can add those to different student accounts, uh, but can't add them just to a single car of Chromebooks because it's a user-based setting. Um, as staff members, you can add any app or extension to your account. Uh, if you want to try something out, if you want to see how it works, uh, you can add that. Um, please be a little bit judicious and consider uh, the source of the, the app or the extension. And then students can only add apps or extensions that are in that 4cdaschools.org uh, section. So if you go to the apps uh, section, so if I click in this apps grid up in the top left hand corner, I'll see uh, all of my apps uh, here that I've added. Um, up in the top right hand corner, I see my extensions uh, that I've added. If I click on the three dots here, I can see that I have some more. Uh, you can also, if you hover in between the, the address bar, the star here, and the extensions, you can al also extend this to show all the extensions that you have um, added. Um, here are my apps down here at the bottom. I can click and see the rest of the apps that I have added. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click and go to the web store so I can see uh, some of the apps and extensions there. Notice that by default it puts me in the 4cdaschools.org uh, section of the Chrome uh, App Store. Um, here I'll see a, a list of the ones that we've added at the district level. The majority of these are apps, but as you scroll down you'll see some that look like puzzle pieces, and these are the extensions. So if I add one of these, it will be added to my extensions up here on the top right. If I add an app, it will be added to my apps launcher here at the top left. So you can see I've got Google Classroom uh, here as well. I did want to highlight one uh, extension in particular. This is called G Suite Training. Um, this is an extension that I've added. And now if you notice when I am in uh, one of the Google Suite apps, uh, now called G Suite, uh, you'll see that I have a uh, question mark uh, with a multicolored circle around it. So this allows me to get more information on um, any of the Google apps. So whether that might be uh, slides or Google Docs or Google Drive, this extension now allows me to get training right while I'm within one of those apps. So 
as an extension. It does interact with uh, the content on the page. It actually um, has an interactive lesson that I can do uh, as I'm on this page. So that's just one extension to take a look at. If you have questions about um, any of, of the apps or extensions, just let us know. And if you have an app or extension you'd like us to get out to your students or add to our 4 CDA schools, uh, org uh, section of the Chrome Web Store, just submit a tech repair. Thanks. Have a great day.